Hello, my name is Katie and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about all the books that I want to read in December. So I recently tweeted this tweet and it got like way more popular than I thought it was gonna be, but let me, let me read it to you. So my hot take is that it literally doesn't matter how many books you read, it just matters that you enjoy reading. Um, it has over a thousand likes. <laughs> It's just like putting my little flaws out on the internet did not think it would get that popular but that kind of like brings me to my next point which me is that this year i've actually read a lot less than in the years past and that's totally fine because i feel like the quality of books that i'm reading is good and i feel like instead of trying to go for shorter books to increase the number of books that i've read i've just gone more for the books that i just really wanted to read at the moment and overall i feel like happy with my reading and kind of going into december with that mindset like i'm not trying to read a certain amount to like meet a certain goal so yeah i'm just gonna kind of pick books that i want to read and what i'm feeling right now is books on kindle I just read like a lot of emotionally heavy fantasy and especially this last book that I read this month, Lightbringer, which I talked about on my Instagram story yesterday. The ending emotionally destroyed me and this is one of my favorite trilogies and I've been reading it since the first one came out. I just love it so much but it, the ending just left me a little emotionally drained. So that's kind of when I'm like, all right, I need to change gears a little bit and kind of go into a different genre. And with my video last week where I talked about all these fantasy romances that I want to read, I realized I was making a lot of Kindle purchases that did not need to spend all that money on it. So I did get Kindle Unlimited. I'm going to try it out. I got like the buy three months, get three months free or something like that. It was just half off for six months. So I said, why not? I feel like I'm reading these books. It'll be worth it to have the Kindle Unlimited and then we will go from there. So I kind of just picked out a lot of books that are on Kindle Unlimited this month just to try it out and I'm really excited and I kind of feel like I like reading on my Kindle sometimes. I feel like I can read a little bit faster. It's also easier to read in bed which will help me read more, you know, like when the lights are off and stuff. So I am excited about that but I do still have two regular books that I want to read this month and then the rest are all Kindle books. So yeah, it's a little bit of a change for me. I'm reading some books that maybe like aren't that well known or just like I literally randomly found on Kindle Unlimited and I'm kind of excited to dive into the territory of like indie books, less known books, just random books and they are more on like the romance side although some of them are the fantasy romance category. I don't know, it just kind of depends but yeah that's kind of like where I'm shifting gears and like I said I'm just kind of doing it to give myself a mental break from the types of typical books that I read because I've been reading a lot of them. I don't want to take my enjoyment away from others by only reading in that one genre yeah so i'm really excited i also just got a new kindle because my dog ate my other kindle so this kindle will be staying up on surfaces i won't accidentally leave it on the couch again um that's just what happens when you have a puppy so she's brand new she's shiny um and my my dog is very mischievous so um this kindle will be guarded with my life Oh, and I do think I'm going to go on Redbubble and get a Night Court sticker to put on here. I think that will look very nice. He heard himself being summoned. And he's like, I'm here to eat books and cause trouble. Isn't that right? What are you doing? Oh, you're going to be calm now? Okay. He saw that he was on camera and he said, oh, I got to convince the people that I will behave. Okay, so let me start with the two physical books that I picked up for myself this month. The first one being A Court of Wings and Ruin by Sarah Damas. Um, me, being the dumbass that I am, forgot to talk about the fact that A Court of Mist and Fury was on my November TBR in my November TBR video, even though I am the co-host of the Akotar along. So that was my bad. So this month, I'm making sure it's the first one that I talk about so that I do not forget it. Aquatar Along is a five month long read along hosted by me and Madison from Princess of Paperback. And each month we are reading one of the Aquatar Court of Thorns and Roses by Sergeant Mass series books. And in December, our book is A Court of Wings and Ruin. Our live show for A Court of Mist and Fury, which is like everyone's favorite, my favorite, is going to be on this Saturday on my channel. So I will leave all of the info in the description below, as well as where you can find our last live stream for A Court of Thorns and Roses if you want to watch it 
And yeah, so we are up to A Court of Ruins and Ruin. This is the concluding novel to the trilogy, besides the fact that, you know, there's a novella after and now we're getting a new book. But yes, so this is, this book is very focused on like the politics and kind of wrapping up the controversy that has been building the first two books. Obviously, I'm not going to go into exactly what this book is about for those that have not read A Court of Thorns and Roses. However, A Court of Thorns and Roses um, centers around 19-year-old Feyre. She is a huntress. Her family is very, very poor, and so she must provide for her family. She's the only one that can go out and hunt for them. And so one day in the woods, she sees this gigantic wolf, and she kills it. Unknowingly, that wolf was a fairy, and now a high fae has come to collect his debt. And in exchange for the life that she took, she must go to fairy and live out the rest of her days there. But little does she know that there is a dark curse upon all the lands of fae, and Vera might be the only one that can help break it. It is a Beauty and the Beast retelling. I do kind of believe with the opinion that A Court of Miss and Fury is a Hades and Persephone retelling. This book is not really a retelling of anything. Ooh, I love like the crown on the back here. Um, this is also when they switched to using the thinner paper for the A Court of Thorns and Roses series because this book is just as long as Akamath, but um, it's got thinner paper. I mean, that's literally like an unimportant fact, but I just think it's worth noting that this, this book is still very long. It just has Bible thin pages. Yeah, I mean, this series just goes so totally beyond what the synopsis of the first book is, and I totally think you should check it out if you're curious. I mean, it's beloved here on booktube for a reason, and I love the series. I'm excited to read this one and see what I think about it the second time around, and if you are interested in our Akatar long, please, please follow all of our socials and tune into the live show. I just think it's going to be so much fun. The next book that I want to get to physically this month is The Invisible Life of Abby LaRue by V.E. Schwab. I have been anticipating this book basically since I heard V.E. Schwab talk about it. Um, I think I went to her signing for Vengeful, which came out like two years ago. So I've been anticipating this book for a long time. Um, the tagline is, a life no one will remember, a story you will never forget. I just think this is such an intriguing concept. I think it's like adult literary fiction fantasy type deal. I don't know. Anyways, this book starts in France in 1714 and there is this girl named Addy LaRue and she makes a deal with the devil that she wants to live forever. However, in exchange for this deal, she is cursed to be forgotten by everyone that she ever meets. So she lives a very solitary existence. No one ever remembers her. She can basically have no relationships or anything like that. Every year on her birthday, the dark devil that she made the deal with comes to visit her to see if she's ready to give up her immortality. And they have a darkly thrilling game that stretches through the ages. Um, and it will be nearly 300 years until Addie is in a forgotten bookstore and finally someone that she sees remembers her name. And it goes from there. I mean, I just think it's gonna be wonderful. I have loved everything that I have read that V.E. Schwab has written, and I read most of her works. There's just a few I haven't read yet, but yeah, so I mean, she's one of my favorite authors. I'm so excited about this. I'm surprised I haven't read it yet, but I feel like December is like a good time of the year for this kind of book. Like the weather just makes me wanna read this. It seems like a winter book. Okay, so. Moving on to all the books that I'm going to read with my brand new Kindle Unlimited membership. So the first book that I'm going to be reading this month, and I actually started this one today, is Princess Ballot by Jamin Eve and Tate James. And this is the first in the Royals of Arban Academy series. Um, and it is available on Kindle Unlimited. I'll let you know if these books are available on Kindle Unlimited or not. I think all but one are, but just in case. So Violet Spencer is an orphan whose whole life has changed when she is selected for the so-called Princess Ballot. Arban Academy is a secret, prestigious college located in a place shrouded by secrecy where only the richest of the rich and the royalty can attend, except for once every five years they accept one student on a scholarship based off of a worldwide lottery. Violet wins the lottery and she thinks her whole life is headed for the better. However, Arban Academy is not just a simple college. It's a dark world full of politics, intrigue, and dangerous men who will stop at nothing to get their own way. Violet does what she can to stay off the radar, but she is drawn into a game and becomes a pawn between two of the most 
powerful monarchies in the world. Prince Rafe of the Switzerland and Prince Alex of the Austro Asia's are bitter enemies in both soccer and politics and vie for control of both the world and Violet's heart. And this series promises to be full of asshole princes, nasty princesses, and one girl who will take none of their bullshit. Um, it just sounded really fun, which is kind of my reasoning for picking most of these. I wanted things that were really easy to read, really fun to read, and that have like a really quick pace, and this just seems just like the kind of book that would have all of that and so I'm excited to read it and of course this is a romance. So the next book is A Worthy Opponent by Katie Roberts and this is number three in the Wicked Villains series. I have been reading this series. It is a romance series where each one is a different pairing of a Disney heroine with a Disney villain and it's really good. Um, the first one was Jasmine and Jafar um, the second one was Hayes and Megara, and this one is Tinkerbell and Captain Hook. I mean, what more could you ask for? I think the other ones, I forget what the other ones are, I might read those too, but the fourth one is Belle and Gaston, maybe? Oh, and then there's the Ursula and Ariel, and then there is Aurora and Maleficent, I think? I don't know if her name is Maleficent in this, but... I think that's the pairing. So yeah, I mean, just like really fun and interesting pairings, really interesting dynamics. It's a great time all around if you're looking for a really fun romance series. Um, so in A Worthy Opponent, Tinkerbell wants revenge and there is only one man that can help her and that is Hook. And it's not out of the goodness of his heart. He is helping her basically because he wants a ring on Tink's finger. But Tink will pay any price to bring Pan down, even if that means selling her soul. So, um, yes. It's really fun. It does go into some like very more risque territory than other romances that I have read, but if you are up for it, phenomenal series. Next is A Vein of Love by R. Scarlet. I think I read an R. Scarlet novella like forever ago. Um, and then it, the series never continued, which was sad because it was good, but I'm interested to pick up this series because it's a demon series. Yes. And this is number one in the black. 300 years ago, Molly Darling's family signed a contract in demon blood to ensure their protection. Molly hardly believes their warnings about a marriage to a demon, but it is very much the truth. Tensley Knight agrees to Molly's new patrols. Nope, nope, chills. Proposal? <laughs> I cannot pronounce that word. Um, in order to steal her ancient demon powers. He is brash, arrogant, and saves Molly from danger only to insult her in the next second. As Molly learns more about the demon world, she realizes two things. One, she needs this marriage to guarantee her family safety, and two, any freedom she yearns for calls for Tensley's demise. But there could be more to him than just his brooding self. There could be more hidden in the liquid molten depths of his eyes. Beautiful. This next one, I literally found it in the most random of circumstances on Amazon, but it seemed really cool. So it is Heart of Dracula by Catherine and Kingsley. It is set in Boston in 1897. I happen to live in Boston, so I feel like I, I got a good like visualization of the setting, which is always fun. Death comes to the city hearkened by a crimson moon. The vampire king has come to claim the city and Maxine Parker finds herself in the middle of a war. She lives a solitary life and that is not by choice. Because her empathetic ability means that she will kill anyone that she touches, she cannot socialize or have any sort of meaningful relationships with people because she cannot risk touching them. But soon she learns that she cannot kill what is already dead and the vampire king is in town so she's brought into the war i love a good old vampire book next up is shadow's kiss by tm hart 
and this one is number one in the shadow series and it is on Kindle Unlimited. Violet Archer is running through the darkness for her life and when she wakes she has no memory of how she got there. She is disturbingly ill and there's evil crawling through her veins. Her host Elijah Stone is intent on killing her yet a cataclysmic bond stays Elijah's hand. Radiance, immortals made of light, have been warring with the shadows for as long as time can remember. Now twisted together by fate, the two adversaries must embark on a journey. Unfortunately for Violet she does not know who she can trust, especially not Elijah. However, they are not alone on their journey. They are being hunted as Violet owes a dark debt to someone who is very dark and about to collect his due. That one definitely is more on the fantasy romance side of things. And then lastly, we have Trickery by Jamin Eve and Jane Washington. And this is number one in the Curse of the Gods series, which is on Kindle Unlimited. So Willa is a dweller, a non-magical being in Bin... Min Mintasol? Mintasol. Being a dweller means that you are basically no better than the dirt. Willa, however, lives on a village that is far away from the souls, aka the magical beings. So she thinks that she's basically free from ever having to present herself to the souls for a life of servitude. However, one small mistake lands her in a position in service to Blesswood the most prominent school for souls. Under the watchful eyes of the gods, she'll be tasked to serve the Abacurse brothers, five souls that are arrogant, perfect, and powerful. Under their service, she's either going to be sentenced to die or they're going to ruin her so badly she will wish for it. And this one is a pretty long series as well. So yeah, a lot of these are also series, so I may just go off my TBR by like reading one after another in the series, especially when books read so fast, I kind of like to binge through series that way. So, you know, my plans could change, but these are just some of the books that I found on Kindle Unlimited and I really want to read this month and I'm really excited to kind of have this little change of pace because it's fun. It's the end of the year, time to change things up a little bit. I want to use my new Kindle that I had to get because my dog ate my other one, you know. So let me know down below if you've read any of these books or what you plan on reading this month. I'm really looking forward to hearing from you guys. I love reading through your comments. It's always a fun time for me. And I hope you guys have some happy holidays this December. And with that, have some fun, read some books, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.